What was the biggest lesson you learned from kind of getting those, I think, what, three or four starts under your belt? Great lesson is just owning up and being like, you just can't play like a freshman. No, right. like you got to play hard and just like adapt and everything. It's just like, how can I say it? It's not, you can't, you can't expect to be play, playing like a freshman if you start, you know, you got to grow up and kind of like take it. Was there a welcome to the college basketball moment for you uh, where you're, you're going up against a guy, whether that's like in, against Houston or against somebody else, where you're like, okay, I'm, this is big boy basketball now? Yeah, there's been a time just running up down in Florida, not everyone, like all the bigs are in shape too. So it's just like I have to keep up with them and just like boxing out, keeping them boxed out, you know, like you're going to get bumped. So it's just like I need a – I was like, welcome to college, like this is real. Like once started to box, what was it? It's one time I were playing Houston. I forgot what my opponent was, his name was, but kind of boxed him out, gave me a little bump, grabbed the rebound over me. And I was just like, damn, like this is it. This is it. Yeah. What was Frank Martin? And I, I think Frank and Chuck were the two guys that recruited you out of gold, right? Yeah. What were they like in the recruitment process? You know, just like, they believed in what I can do for this team, like how, like, they believed in that I can fit in to right. what we do and what South Carolina does. So they're telling me all about that, and this, they're really interested and got me really excited because, like, I was willing to, you know, work and do what we can do to, you know, be a good team. I've heard some stories about them coming up to gold for the first time. What do you remember about them coming like, coming up there? I remember Frank, he, he tried to rent a car. Yeah. Instead, he just got a big van. It was like a van, like eight-seater van or whatever. Coming out of the van, I'm like, oh, that's Frank. <laughs> and he was like, looking around, he was like, oh, this is a walk to the gym. Really impressed with the gym because we have like an old gym down at um, Gould. So like, it's pretty different. And he started telling me how like, he uh, around like, he was around Brockton and Braintree. Mm -hmm. And he coached down in, what? Uh, Austin, right? Somewhere around in the Boston area, yeah. but yeah. How important is family to you? Family is really important to me. Like, take a, uh, I think family is just, everything about family, I just, loyalty and respect, I think that's really important. That's the reason who I am today, because of family. Who's, uh, who's the best shooter in this freshman class, just among these five guys? I say Trey. Trey. Or it's between Trey and Mike. I don't yeah, know. Okay. <laughs> if you had to, you know, put money on it. Put money yeah. on it? Ah. I don't know. Lately, I've been seeing Trey working on his yeah. shot a lot, so I, I'll go with Trey. Okay. What about best defender? Best defender, I'll go with Trey Hannibal. Okay. Rebounder? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to take this one okay. for Jalen. Over Jalen, yes. Um, just best kind of overall player. If you, had to, if you had to pick one guy that said, okay, this is the guy that – down to down two with you know three seconds left. I'm giving him the ball. I don't know because all of us could do that. Like one, like that would be so hard. If we're down two, I'm gonna pick. I don't even know. It'll be a hard one to pick because we all can. We all have talent. I think. Believe. Right. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Sorry, if you've already been asked this before, but as you come up now on the winter break, the first time you kind of get to to breathe a little bit and just focus on basketball only. Uh, what do you and your fellow freshmen hope to do over this break to kind of get better and get ready for the conference season coming up? Um, talking to them, we've just been talking about just having our mind right, focused, because now we don't have really a lot of things to worry about, like classes and uh, all, just all basketball. So like now we just want to get our minds right, be focused for this season. And do you find now as you're you know, a couple, couple months into the process now, what uh, do you value more during this break time? Is it the mental side of just getting ready and, and studying film and studying yourself, or is it just kind of physically uh, adding more tools to your tool belt as you get ready for SEC play? Um, as a freshman, I've been learning just need to value more mental stuff, um, going to film, watching film, and just after practice, you know, calling over a coach so we could work on a few things. But, like, doing that, I think it's been pretty beneficial. It's been helping us out.